The Ash, Lutzi and Susie Snackbox. If you live at the north side and you bought a lottery ticket, mm. um, you might have won $100 million last year. Holy crap. Last, last year. night. Last night, even. My mum lives on the north side. Because it hasn't been claimed. For $100 million. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was $100 million, isn't it? Yeah, it was. $100 million unclaimed. Why isn't Lutzi here today? Oh, Tony won the lottery. Yeah, imagine that. What if you lost your ticket? Oh, no. Mum was at north saying that her and... Aussie, we're gonna, and Heather, the next door neighbours, if they each one. I love those names, by the way. Contribute in adverted commas to each other. Oh, if one of them won it, yeah. So they all bought tickets, or th- yeah. or two of them, or three of them. At least two of them, anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wow. funny, isn't it? Hundred million. Northside Brisbane. It says Northside Brisbane. Oh, that's um, not. Mackerel. That's like in a lot of ways that hundred hundred million. It's not. It's life changing for sure for that person, but it's life changing probably for like a generation. Of people yeah. to come. Yeah. Yeah, to come. Mm-hmm. That is so much money. Yeah, that's very If money. you're smart with it. Yeah, I mean, I don't well, want to be well, negative. Well, that's it, <laughs> <laughs> it, can, it can ruin you. It really Life can. and family. But you'd put 80, couldn't you just put 80 million in a term deposit? See, yes, that's a smart thing that's to what do. That's you should but... do. Well, how much will that give you back a year? Oh, I've got no idea. 4%. What's that? <sighs> of how much? 800, 80, 80, 80 million. Well, 10% would be 8 million, so it'd be. How oh, much would $3.2 million, sorry. You get 3.2 a year. Yeah. The third biggest win in Aussie history. Third wow. biggest. Do I we... told you, it's weird, you know. I I, uh, I emceed the BCF Awards dinner last night BCF at Royal Pines on good. the Gold, Gold yeah. Coast. I, I, people send me photos. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I snaked that person out Randy. of the crowd too. I, I went public with that picture. I oh, said, which you? one of you bastards has taken pictures of me? <laughs> oh, and good. sending and sending it to Lutzi. There's a snake in the room. <laughs> and then cool. I was trying to work out from the photo. Somebody in the crowd took a picture of me yeah. and sent it off to Lutzi. And then Lutzi put it up on our breakfast chat. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. uh, when I, I always say the story about the big lotto win is that guy that I met at BCF yeah. Labrador who worked at BCF Labrador, Wayne, mm. and took me fishing Wayne. one night, whiting fishing, yeah. and then told me when he was out whiting fishing that his wife won a part of a syndicate $70 million. Jeez. Mm. He, I don't know what he ended up with out of that, but the remarkable... Divorce. No, 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 these... <laughs> A 22-year-old girlfriend. I thought they did get divorced. No, no, no. No, no, they're still very much together. They, he, he spent his money wisely because he's, he's travelling the world fishing. It's, oh, it's how good. so good. See, that's a good but result. The, the cool thing about that, Buzz, mm. she was part of a syndicate. A bunch of ladies had uh, got together and had their Christmas lunch at Nando's at Runaway Bay, mm-hmm. and th- they all pulled their money together to pay for their lunch. There's money left over. One of the ladies said, I'll buy a lotto ticket. And we'll all share the money. Oh, God. She forgot about it. She, oh. And, and it, it slipped her mind. She never bought the lotto ticket. I'll, I'll get to as quick as I can. Please. Uh, we can come back in if you want to. And uh, it was three months later that yeah. the, a $70 million draw happened. And the lady who hadn't bought the ticket three months prior went, oh, geez, I never bought that ticket. I'll buy one in this syndicate. Everybody else had completely forgotten that there was a ticket about the lunch. It was That's months. That's right. And the lady won the seventy million, and Wayne reckons she could have. You know, it was three months down the track. Nobody was thinking about it, and she had to ring them up and go, "Yeah, I, I bought that ticket on all of our behalf." She could have kept the seventy yeah. herself, and she gave, she she split it. Split it. Oh wow, yeah. that's good. Good on her. That's calm, I see. Mm. Yeah, I if she hadn't, have, they would have thought you bought it three months ago, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you worth seventy million. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie snack box. I'm doing deep dive into animals this morning because my. <laughs> Good news, Sue's is all animals. And good is it, why, why is it a reason? I don't know. Just the, the stories I looked at are that's all what they wrote. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was my choices. And I liked them. Interesting. And then I heard another animal story yesterday that I thought was really cute too. Oh, um, yeah? It was about these gay um, penguins. <laughs> Come on. What? <laughs> it was about these gay penguins called Sven and Magic. Of course. And they lived together at the Sea Life Sydney Aquarium. They've been together for six years. Um, they got together in 2018 do you know um, penguins, when they like each other, they collect pebbles and bring them back to the nest? Oh. Like they sort of start nesting. Yeah, okay. And they sort of collect pebbles and bring them back. Yeah. So Sven and Magic, um, they actually adopted two other little penguins. I don't know how they adopted them, how, what the process was for <laughs> penguins. <Sign papers. laughs> the laws have changed. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. They can do it now. It's cool. Yes, yeah, so they looked after Lara and Clancy, and apparently they were really good parents. Like they took turns at, at looking after them while the other one went out to... 
get food. Oh, hang on, that rings a few alarm to bells. Raves. Well, <laughs> how could they, they wouldn't need to go and collect food at an aquarium. They get fed. Yeah, there's a couple of, you know, yeah, there's a couple the, of question the, marks the, over yeah, the story. Yeah, the story works. Were yeah. they, was Sven and... Um, Magic? Magic getting it on? Yeah, good that, question. That is a question that's come up in the comments. Yeah. And I haven't found an, an answer. Like, were they just um, Platonic. friends or... Yeah, platonic. Platonic Because otherwise or, it's a friendship, isn't it? It's a close friendship. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen any um, evidence like, of... So it's a good I, point. I used to live with Regs, my mate Regs. Mm. It doesn't for, mean you were gay. For, well, I mean, you may well have been, and that would have been okay For 10 well. years, yeah, well, mm. there, there may have been rumors. questions. I was saying, very yeah. close friends when we did live together mm-hmm. yeah. for a long time. Well, anyway, these were close friends because um, one of them died, actually. Oh, oh. which one? It took a turn, didn't it? Sven died. Mm. Sven was 12. They only lived till they're 13. I think Magic uh, was a little bit... 12, 12, 12 yeah. as it turns out. Magic, <laughs> Magic's a little bit younger. I did read how old Magic was. But um, Magic was really, really sad, and so were all the other penguins. And actually, the, the zookeepers took Magic to see Sven to show, to show him that he was dead, he's not coming back. And Magic started crying. <laughs> What? what? Singing, singing, singing. Oh, that's a big difference. <laughs> singing, singing, but singing in mourning. What do you mean? Oh. Like what's singing? Well, and then all the other penguins joined in. Now, hopefully the audio is turned up. Oh, God. It's no audio. I said I'd give you a thumbs up. It's not there yet. Can Dilly's you, working you on it. What song did they sing? Yeah, what did they sing? Oh, I haven't heard it yet. I thought I was going to hear it Something here live. Something from Frozen, probably. But, but they all... Yeah. But it's, I think what's the, that song? The point Let, it, the, go. Let yeah. it go. Let it go. Let it go. The point was that animals... Animals mourn other animals. Animals are. It was really sad, oh, and then everyone joined in, they and they do. all started singing together. Yeah. Did, did they just go and show Sven just lying there? Yeah, they did. Apparently, to show him that he's not coming back. Look, right. look, Sven hasn't run away with. Yeah, you know, with they, they someone understand. else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually not alive anymore, and he started singing mournfully, and then all the oh, penguins so in desperately the want to so hear do it. I, and all the penguins in the enclosures. There, I thought Buzz. it'd be. Re- I thought I took a gamble, and I thought the. I thought the audio would be here by the end of my what story. What does it sound like, though? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. you can hear the sound. Uh, it sounds like a tenor. Oh, it's dead gone. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie snack box. Good news, Suze. Good day, sunshine. Anyway, back to good news, Suze, which is animal themes today, everyone. Ooh, okay. South Africa's last zoo elephant, Charlie, has been freed after more than 40 years. Well, I guess that makes sense, right? Really, because we can't, we, we can't have, we have elephants in zoos here, but like, we can't release our elephants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Where would they go? Yeah, they probably what can. Would they, in what would they do? Oh God! Would well, they be able to survive? I, that hit, hit, I don't know because good keep going up I'm going to I'm going to put a question mark over survival for this elephant because he's been in custody for 40 years. Yeah. He was captured in 1984 when he was two years old. What's his name? Charlie. Charlie. Uh, on Tuesday, it was announced that after a nail-biting four-hour trip to freedom, the elephant arrived at his new home. <laughs> Shambhala Private Reserve. So he's probably... Uh, that sounds yeah. nice. Yeah. That sounds nice. So it's mm. like a retirement home for elephants. Yeah. He doesn't have to work yeah. anymore. You got nine to five there? No. He's, he's switched, not off a cuff like He switched out the nine to five and now he's in the beautiful yeah, there's no, Shambhala Private Reserve. There's no bars. Well, probably there is, but they're too far away for him to see. You know what bars. I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, at some point, <laughs> there's going to be a war. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, oh, bars. Like, I thought you meant drinking yeah, bars. I thought you, meant, I thought you were doing oh, something. Oh, well, yeah. Hopefully for him, yeah. there's a couple <laughs> I thought of you doing speakers. Some good retirement, <laughs> little retirement village. Bit of gear. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. A couple of whiskeys in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> good news, Suze. Crows cleaning up the streets in France. Black crows in the meadow, sleeping across the bra. This is a good one. What if it's after the Olympics? Oh, the Paralympics are about to start. Is, is that Dylan? Yeah. That's Dylan, is it? Yeah, certainly not one of his best. Not one of his best. Is it? What song yeah. is it? He was a, a speaker. Uh, is this Gary doing a cover of Bob Dylan? It's funny, honey, I'm out of touch. Don't yeah, feel like my touch and go with Dylan. Some of his stuff. We should have played yeah. Counting Crows. That would have been more interesting. Oh, God, that's enough. Keep really makes yeah. sense, though. Crows have been trained to collect cigarette butts and deposit them into a machine 
that will give them food as a reward. Oh, hey, what a great idea. How good is that? So crows, cool. they send them out and they pick up the um, cigarette butts that and chuck a... them in a thing. Do they really? Yeah, in yeah. France. And what do they get for it? Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, that's funny. Good by you. What? <laughs> good news, Suze. That drink's really kicking in there. Yeah, what is it again, uh, Mudsy? A reaper. Send some the, more in, The please. brain drink. Scientists discovered a new animal with 200 legs that crawls the deep sea floor cleaning up ocean trash. Oh, good song. I love that. ZZ Top. I love how we've gone from freeing animal to sort of be, <laughs> sort of incarcerating two others. Yeah. <laughs> Doing all that crap job. People are employing them now. Yeah, putting them to work. Yeah. So the work describes a new type of deep sea... Well, how, how deep? What? Two, well, I haven't got the deep, the depth yet. Oh. It's got 200 legs. It's basically a sea cucumber. You know the sea cucumbers? You see them up in the wet Sundays. They're long, squishy animals with pale pink violet colouring. Um, they can be found at depths ranging from 70 feet to 1,400 feet. And they use their hundreds of feet to move and grab bottom sediments bottom with their tentacles, yeah. their tentacle feet, because um, they eat on a diet of fish waste, algae, and other organic matter peppered through the sandy floor of the sea. So it's like the Dyson of the sea. Dyson of the sea. Yeah. yeah. Schlutzy and Susie, Snackbox. I mentioned uh, that I did that BCF awards dinner last oh, night, yeah. which, was, which was great. And, who won? Uh, well, they have awards for all different Everything, types yeah, of right. things, like best mm. store, store manager. BCF. And for the whole of Australia. Yeah. So it was like, it was really well received. And you could see the employees, if they won something, it, it meant a lot to them. Mm. Like it was a, it was a big deal. Well, it's like the accuracy. Yeah. There's tears. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's a true nationwide yeah. uh, entity. Do they have a Hall of Fame where BCF. people talk for 25 minutes? No, they no. didn't do any, yeah. any inductions. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> God I might go to the VCF Was there speeches? No, there were speeches, yeah. Not, all, not every award, though. Uh, a lot of the awards they, they did, but it wasn't a, it wasn't an overly like long, yeah. um, you know, night. But um, yeah, it was really well received. And I said that to the guys at my table. I said, "God, everyone, I love the buy-in factor. Like everyone's sort of mm. energetic about it." And and it made me think about at our, you know, in your own workplace, if you get awards oh, yeah. at at work, you know. Um, and I was I was saying to the guys there <laughs> oh, yes. that when I once worked at another radio station, I actually remember what you're like, talking about. Like a, a long time ago, <laughs> they would have just the interstation sort of meeting once a month or whatever it was. Oh, okay, yeah. You can say, yeah. Well, right. well, yeah. The, the name of the award is pretty cool. Oh, the name. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> You'll probably work it out when he says the name of the award. Yeah. Well, one one week I got called into uh, to do some stuff on the Brecky show. I was just, Lutzy and I were just uh, casual sort of. We had, had, a, had a Saturday mm. show. Weekend warriors. And uh, but I I filled in one week and I had to go out and do like Mitch on the street like mm. each morning for the Brecky show. Mm. And they liked, they evidently they liked what I did because uh, I got invited along to the team meeting, even though it was a casual. Mm. And I I won the You Rock Award. Ah, <laughs> you Rock Award. <laughs> rock is Derry. Oh, oh, rock, rock, rock. I won the You Rock Award for for the month. And yeah. I'm a grown man at this stage. It's like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciated you know, the effort. More. At least, at no, least. more, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, so anyway, I got the U Rock Award and, you know, and congratulations and all the rest of it. And what did you get? Like a- I got a certificate. It was a, it was a certificate that had been put through the, what's it called? You know, uh, uh, laminator. Laminated. Laminated. I, I got a laminated oh, c- I love that. certificate saying this here certifies. They've always invented laminators. For the month of whatever. Straight to the Ash- pool room. Ashley Bradnam, <laughs> U Rock. We do that here at Nova. Yeah, yeah do stuff. We? Yeah, yeah. we never won. They it. Went Standing pants. novation is what we call uh, it. Is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. Standing <laughs> novation. You get a standing yeah. novation. Well, I I left there and I was heading straight back to the Gold Coast, and I had to pull into the survey to get fuel. Like, oh, no. so I went to the nearest service station straight after received from the bo- from the meeting with the, the general, general manager. manager. General manager. And I, when I pull up at a servo, that's time for me to clean house. <laughs> but before I fill up, my ritual is I'll, I'll take out any empty cups and uh, whatever is rubbish, I'd, I'd, I'd get rid of that first bin of it. all, mm. bin it, and then I go and fill up the car. <laughs> so I literally I had this certificate. I'd just been handed it, and, you know, like maybe an hour before, and I'm uh, getting, you know, an empty can of Cokes or whatever it is, and I looked at this award and I thought to myself, what are you going to do with that? 
<laughs> what, you got to pin it on your wall in the kitchen? <laughs> what, what, above your bed. What are you going to do with your you rocket water? And I looked at it and I thought, no, no it's, it's going. I'm walking to the bin at the um, to chuck it out. The general manager who had just presented me the award oh, no. is, at, is at the other uh, fuel state watching me chuck the thing out. Did you chuck it out? Or did you, I was chucking it, Susan. It's gone. It's gone. He's, he's gone. He's, he's oh, God. It. What happened then? I, <laughs> you don't rock it. That, <laughs> yeah. that was my last you rock award. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie Snackbox. Just quickly, I've had a lot of people asking me about my car keys, which I lost at oh, Bunnings yeah. yesterday. How'd you go? Mm-hmm. Didn't find them. Mm-hmm. So I went to Bunnings, I'll whatever day it was, two days ago, lost my car keys somewhere in there, uh, never found them again. Went back. Bunnings were awesome, by the way. Bunnings Newstead, head out there. Uh, Beck, the manager. Yeah. I felt like I was wasting your time by the end. We went through all the cameras. You can follow me from when I walk in. Oh, we need it, to get that footage. Can when we I get walk that? It, really? When we walk in the shop, yeah. um, then I go to the plumbing section. Then can I, you see you holding the keys? Yeah, you can see in my back pocket. Uh, yeah, can you see them and then not? you never see them again. And, <laughs> well, pa- pardon? Where was the? T- you say you can't see a definitive point where they're not there anymore. No, because I mean, you can yeah. see them um, walking away from the service desk to my next stop, which was the toilet, but you can't get it close enough to see my butt. Oh, but oh, we also checked. Goodness. Two other ladies went to the toilet between yes. when oh. I went to the toilet, which is where I think you I left my was keys them. on the toilet on the toilet roll holder, and then when I went back again to check if they were there, and those two ladies, I reckon they that they're my only hope. That Do you remember what the they kids. look like? Uh, one was wearing a black T-shirt. She was actually, um, she was doing some merchandising there, like she, which means because I was a merchandiser well, she once. Worked. She yeah. works for a company, not Bunnings, but they put yeah, yeah, the yeah, things yeah. on the shelves. Can nicely. I butt in really quickly here? Yes. If you're someone who does those um, courtroom pictures where you like I don't you sketch out oh, yes. a person, can you can you listen to what Susie's saying right now and sketch it out and send it to us, and then we can put a post on our Instagram. Okay, she was wearing a black polo shirt. Mm-hmm. She had um, black long hair to uh, shoulders. Yep. Um, looked about 40, I mean, age. Yep. Yeah, old. Um, so she was the first one. The second lady was a bit younger and she was wearing blue jeans and she had a, a beige sw- a sweater, a sweater, sweater jumper on and she had a long blonde hair and she had a shopping trolley. Can I ask their build just so the person who's drawing these Just for the sake accurately. of the criminal profile. Yeah, yeah just the, sketch. The um, blonde lady was very slim. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and the lady... Colour eyes did she have? I couldn't see them because oh, okay. you only see certain views. Blue. And the black um, t-shirt lady was normal size. Yep. Okay. Well, so right. if, you, if you want to sketch people, get, get in contact with us. Slightly robust. But when I was there with um, Beck going, from the manager going through the videotapes, she got a call in saying, we found some car keys. Not mine. Oh. They People lose so much stuff at Bunnings. You've huh? got no idea. There's a safe there that they go into when you go and see what they've, you know, to check if my keys are in there. They pulled out um, wallets and they pulled out heaps of car keys. They pulled out all I, sorts of I things. I bet you Sunnies. Sunnies, sunnies oh. glasses. Be a, sunnies would be a big one. Mm. Glasses, put your glasses down. Yeah. yeah. Where are they? Like, when, they not, I'll tell you where they'd be. They, so I reckon Suze would have put them down, like she would have gone to look at something and she mm. would have put them down on the... Someone would have found them by now, I reckon. No, they would have fallen through a crate. Oh, you know they've got those oh, crates. Oh, God. That's a, well, anyway, you're never going to find them. I'm wasting everyone's time, Beck, no, as well, no. especially. And they'll, they'll turn up at the next stock take, She's you know, a, where they've got to go through and count everything. Yeah, and they, they take all, all the crates out. They're up, doing then. stock take at the moment, actually. Well, oh, then stand good. by. But Beck said space. she always finds them. She said it took her a week once to fa- find a set of keys that a, a man had lost, mm. and they'd slipped through. It's Beck's job, usually. I feel like she should be doing something more. <laughs> She's the manager of the um, whole oh, okay. shop. But Don't take know. up too much of your time, Beck. I hope the yeah. profits aren't down for exactly. the month. Exactly. I'm worried yeah. about Beck now. Can you get yourself an air tag? I oh, know. Do you have to go to an Apple shop to get those? You get them online. I think you get them online. Uh, how many, has anyone said to you, um, oh, well, when, was the, when was the last time you had them? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that helpful? <laughs> well, I realise now that. how annoying it is when I say that to my kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. When was the last time you had them? Mm. No. You actually want to key someone. If you had your keys, you key. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie, Snackbox.